Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Laura Yamada has the night off. The head of a mainland labor recruiting company accused in the largest ever human trafficking case in U.S. history is in custody here in Honolulu tonight. And federal authorities want to keep him behind bars because they're worried he's a flight risk. His spokeswoman told KIT before news tonight he's innocent. And she says the FBI overreacted when agents handcuffed his wife when they tried to arrest him early yesterday morning in Los Angeles. KITV4's Kyoki Kerr is live with continuing coverage tonight. Kyoki? Well, Paula, we've learned that Mordecai Orion has faced more than $2 million in tax liens over the last seven years. And federal prosecutors say he has a history of not paying judgments against him. Instead of $675, we pay $999. 45-year-old Mordecai Orion pleaded not guilty today before a federal magistrate. He's accused, along with five other people, in a federal indictment that says he lured 400 workers from Thailand to work on farms in Hawaii and elsewhere and then took away their passports and paid them much less money than promised. Prosecutors say Orion, an Israeli national, is appealing a deportation order from July of 2009. And they plan to ask a federal judge to keep him at the federal detention center until the trafficking trial starts in November, in which he could face 70 years in prison. And just the nature of the um, offense has such a massive penalty associated with it that there's always the concern when foreign nationals are charged that they may not show up to their own trial. The FBI describes what it calls a comedy of errors over the last 36 hours, getting Orion to turn himself in today in Honolulu. We were told that he was in Los Angeles, Texas, and Albuquerque, and we, do, we believe he was not in all three places at the same time. A spokeswoman for his company, Global Horizons, says Orion was in Texas on business when FBI agents went to his million-dollar Malibu, California home at 5 o'clock yesterday morning, busting down the door, breaking windows, and putting his wife in handcuffs. Overkill, she says. He's not a violent criminal, doesn't have a violent past. He's a businessman, and we, we felt that he was being treated by the FBI was just ridiculous. Kara Lujan says his company and its employees are not guilty of forcing immigrant laborers to work on farms. He claims are false and that he's basically being targeted by the Department of Labor and the Justice Department. Uh, when all he's trying to do is bring these workers here and help them, and he has helped them. The lawyer for some of the alleged victims here says she's happy Orion is locked up at the detention center near the airport where some of her clients also were housed before they were deported. To know that some of these guys have been through that process and have been detained on immigration charges due to the fact of his company uh, not living up to their promises, it, it was very satisfying to see him being held in the same facility. Now, our research shows that Mordecai Orion has faced nine tax liens around the country since 2003. Take a look. They total more than $2.2 million. One of them, the state of California, filed a tax lien for a half million dollars against him in December of last year. Hawaii filed a $15,000 tax lien against him in 2008. And the IRS went after him for $1.5 million in unpaid taxes back in 2007. A detention hearing for Orion is set for Wednesday, when a federal magistrate is going to decide whether he can be released on bail. Paula. All right, Kyoki, thank you very much.